Greek spy movies are not something you see or hear about every day. This movie, titled Voithia of Vegos Phanaros Praktor Miden Miden Miden, pardon my Greek, or in English, Help, Vegos the Obvious Agent 000, is a very surreal and peculiar film, and personally, one of my favorite Greek films. Before I go in and talk about this film though, I need you to know about the protagonist. This is Thanasis Vegos, born Thanasis Vegos. Vegos was a Greek actor and director who performed in around 130 films, predominantly comedies in the 50s and 60s and 70s, starring in more than 50 among them. He is considered one of the best Greek comedy actors of all time and is a staple and well-renowned name in Greece. In 1964, he set up his own production company called THB Laughter Films. Vegos wanted to explore his own visual and artistic side more and directed a total of 7 films. Vegos always did his own stunts. In one movie, he goes headfirst into an actual glass window and plays it off like it was nothing. He even insisted on doing it this way. In another film, he nearly burns himself with his sock standing on burning coal. In some of these movies, Vegos actually makes Chaplin and Keaton look like amateurs, but I might be a bit biased on that part. He once also ate multiple bowls of spaghetti for a commercial once and was hospitalized soon after. Vegos went above and beyond. On June 9th in the year 2000, he had a car accident while crossing the train lines. A train crashed on his car and he and his wife went to the hospital with a few injuries. Soon after that incident, he then filmed a TV spot warning the drivers not to cross the train lines without looking first. Thanasis Vegos, over the course of around 60 years, has played as almost every occupation. In his 130 movies, he has either played as a spy, doctor, waiter, musician, car washer or soldier. Another little fun fact is that he was almost always named after himself in the movies. So without further ado, let's get into the movie. The movie starts out with a bunch of surreal images with a voiceover that says things about how society has fallen and people don't choose jobs anymore like shoemakers, and that in today's world they choose jobs like aircraft builders, nuclear scientists and musicians. But most important of all, secret agents. Because the cops are busy, Greece wants to create strong and serious agents. In the building here, the secret agents are trained according to the American system to become the best there are. This school teaches these people named Proctors to become the best spy Greece has to offer. But bear with me, if you've never seen the film before, be prepared because nothing shown here is predictable. Εδώ είναι το νηπιαγωγείο της σχολής. Απαγορεύεται το κάπνισμα και τα τυχερά παιχνίδια. Μέσα όμως στις μεγάλες ταξίς... Enter Thu Vu, our main character. <laughs> Thu Vu, the initials, actually stand for the name of the main actor, Thanasis Vegos. The movie is a parody of the typical American Hollywood spy films and the original James Bond films, as you can clearly see here by the Sean Connery picture frame on the wall. He basically is their god in a sense, especially through Wu, he worships James Bond. A lot of jokes will be lost in translation, so I'll do my best to translate the joke over to you. There's also an abundance of sound effects in this film, they fit, very much so, 
but at some point it just overlaps with everything. The chief of the class enters and tells them that this is the last day of their theoretical classes and that they will soon after start with the practical classes. The horn blows and the practical class is about to start. The mentor of the Spectors is the SP trainer played by the Greek actor Zanino. This man with the beautiful dimple chin plays it so naturally and had this menacing look throughout his whole career. He starts by beating them all up in order to prepare them. Thuvu, being scared, runs towards the end of the line to prevent him from getting a smacking. When a trainer asks him to flex his muscle, he says This literally means to make a mouse. In Greek, this means to indeed flex your muscle. Here they take it quite literally. A lot of the comedy in this beginning segment is very slapstick and literal. I would go ahead and say this is inspired by Jacques Tati, Keaton, Chaplin and the Marx Brothers. Bravo. Geros fenesesi. Moments later, they begin the course. Archizume. The instructor then later shows them how to break wood with their hands and their head. Over the next five minutes, Thuvu completes the courses but fails every single time. Very miserably.
Ρίτο! Λαγός! Στο λαγονίστη δεν είμαστε! Έβγαλα λαγό! Όχι, σφίγγε, σφίγγε! Παίρνει ακόμα! Υπάρχει πολύ λάστιχα σε μένα! When they are all at the shooting range, something interesting happens. For Western Europeans, this may not mean anything. I'll let it play. This shadow puppet character is called Karagiosis in Greece. It's a figure that originated in Anatolia and has spread further in the region. In Greek daily speech, the name Karagiosis is also used as an insult, more or less like a clown. Puppeteers complain about this though, saying that while Karagiosis can be violent, mischievous, a liar and an anti-hero, he is also good-natured and faithful, so his name should not be used as an insult. This totally mirrors Thuvu and it's perfect. And so, the trumpet sounds. Everyone is dressed up and ready to listen to the headmaster. They are told that the last stage of this course is that they will be dropped into society and will be assigned to three tests to prove that they are loyal and worthy of being a proctor. With this, they will get a code and an ID according to how well they perform with each task. If they score a zero on the first test, they will get a zero. If the second test scores a five and the third one a nine, they will be aptly called 059. There is also a microphone jump scare that they didn't really bother cutting out. Abraham Lincoln then asked them to lay down a few bars for the school's principals. They are then finally tasked with their mission to become a proctor. But Thuvu is not there. Γιατί άρχισες, παιδί μου. Έκανα φροντιστήριο. Oh. Στο Ροζικλέρ έβλεπα την τελευταία ταινία του Τζέμις Μπον. The man that then assigns his tasks rose the living shit out of Thuvu because he is in fact the worst proctor they have ever seen. You gotta give the man some credit though, at least he is trying. Δεν πρόκειται να πάρει ταυτότητα πράκτορο και α έχει τα προσόντα. Όλε οι αναφορέ που διάβασα λένε ότι κάποια μέρα θα γίνει ένα μεγάλο πράκτορα. Άρισε επιβόλαιο! His first mission involves the daughter of a cantor. The girl is having a secret affair and Thuvu has to find clues about the girl's love interest under the orders of her strict father. Η κοπέλα αυτή είναι το κύριο πρόσωπο τη υποθέσεω που αναλαμβάνει. Θέλω να μάθει τρία πράγματα. Με ποιον συνδέεται. Τι είδου άνθρωπο είναι αυτό που συνδέεται και τι δουλειά κάνει. Τα πάντα. Κατάλαβε και σου χρειάζονται. It's safe to say that Thuvu is super down bad for this lady. Also, I should mention, most of the time that he's in presence of a woman, he says Manula, which means mommy. This man literally says mommy to every single woman he meets. He is then given his tools. Μολύβει και σιγά για να το ξύνεις. Μολυβόνερο να σου μαυρίσουνε το μάτι. Χάπια αντισυλληπτικά για να μη συλλαμβάνεσαι. 
Μανταλάκια για να στεγνώσει τα ρούχα σα σε ρηξή στη θάλασσα. Λουλάκι δεν βάλα. Πάψε! Αυτό εδώ σου γεια ο θαυματουργό. Ανοίγει κονσέρβε. Βγάζει φελού. Έχει κουτάλι. Έχει πυρούνι. Έχει κατσαβίδι. Έχει πριόνι. The father has a whole outbreak over this whole situation, and Thuvu comes in secretly to brief him. Thuvu's way of getting information is spying on a daughter while sleeping and hoping she will give away information while sleep talking. The father has fallen ill as a way of distracting, so Thuvu can play as a doctor and have a reason for him to be in the house while simultaneously eavesdropping on the daughter. When Thuvu comes back, the door is locked and decides to snuggle with the father. Thuvu then spends the next day spying on a daughter, moonlighting as various occupations like an electrician or tailor. He then ensues in a race to follow them, but yet again fails miserably. Thuvu is then yet again scolded by the man who assigned a task to him. Thuvu tries again, this time with a car disguised in hay. He then proceeds to climb up in a tree and tries to find their whereabouts. He does a full leap of faith in the hay car and needs to make an urgent phone call. Thuvu telephones the headquarters and gives them the location of the daughter and her entourage. Thuvu enters the restaurant in disguise as a Russian violin player. He sets up to perform a piece. Afterwards, the disguised Thuvu goes around to sell his mixtape and spots a daughter and her partner. He very subtly takes a secret photo of them. The couple uncovers that this is in fact Thuvu spying on them and demand that he gives back the photos that he took. Thuvu then hastily runs away. On top of that, he steals a car from a couple claiming that he has measles and just came from a madhouse so they wouldn't interfere, unaware that there is an infant in the back seat. <laughs> Whilst all of this is set in motion, the father of the girl is on his way to the restaurant. The police have arrived and are pursuing through his car thinking that he kidnapped the child. The child is in disarray and Thuvu puts on some music to calm them down. It's then promptly interrupted by a news outlet. Φαίνεται μάλλον ότι πρόκειται περί επικίνδυνου δραπέτου του φρενοκομείου. Αν δεν τους φυλάνε και καλά. Ο κακοποιός είναι φαλακρός με τρίου αναστήματος. Είναι μετεμφιεσμένος εις αθήγκανον και φέρει μίστακα τσιγκελωτών. Βρε το ζώο να πω κρύες έφερε. Παρακαλείτε όμως πας ώστις αντιληφθεί το αυτοκίνητον ή τον δράστην να έλθει αμέσως εις επαφήν με την αστυνομία. Βρε άμα τον πετύχω δεν μου γλιτώνει εμένα. Thuvu is now wanted, and everyone is looking for him. 
the police, the dad, the daughter, and the agency. He meets the dad by chance and gives him the child. Thuvu states that he's gonna get some cigarettes and that he will be right back. The dad is arrested by the police for kidnapping the child. When they're all back at the agency, the dad is furious at them and at Thuvu that they completely messed up everything and made it even worse. Thuvu gets everything thrown at him and decides to make one of the worst cuts in cinema history. When they've come down, Thuvu actually makes a breakthrough. He has a picture of the daughter's boyfriend and more clues about who and what he is. Once again, Thuvu is after them. This time for the last time. Turns out, the boyfriend is a smuggler of electrical device and reports it back to the agency. Thuvu has to intercept the smuggling event taking place the next morning and steal the luggage that resides there. As the smooth man he is, he decides to bust out a few moves while waiting for the luggage to arrive. <laughs> He grabs it, then decides to stretch a bit, and the luggage is then promptly stolen by a kid. Surprise! The couple gets married, and the three of them decide to start investigating once again. Turns out, the boyfriend wasn't a smuggler. He was equipping his house with the electrical appliances to get married. Thuvu failed. Back at the agency, all the proctors get their grade for their first assignment. While the others scored 9s and 6s, Thuvu scores 0. The judges are baffled, but they give him his next task, which was someone else's. Presumably, they thought it was one of the easiest tasks there was. The task goes as follows. Thuvu has to go to a fashion house named The Golden Needle. Apparently, someone here is stealing the designs and he has to intercept the thief. The scene opens with a woman named Dora. She and another woman expect an agent to help them find clues about who is stealing the designs. Thuvu enters and is yet again down bad for this woman. <laughs> Thuvu states the obvious about keeping the designs locked and find the perpetrator. Thuvu cannot do this job by himself, so he calls up the agency and asks for backup. The agency agrees and sends them a proctor named MAP031. To know it's really him, they've created a secret identification signal. Handshake, a punch on the stomach and a blow on the neck. In the meantime, Thuvu asked if all the women working in the store can come out and show themselves so he can get a clue of some sort. I can't show this just in case YouTube tries to demonetize. When Thuvu goes back in the main room, the proctor MAP031, played by actor Antonis Papadopoulos, arrives and beats the living hell out of Thuvu. <laughs> Being as down bad as previously mentioned before, he will do anything Dora says. Just look at this cut for example. Dora gives him a piece of paper. Thuvu jokes, the blueprint isn't in here, is it? Dora states, of course not. After Thuvu left, Dora phones her crime partner that the paper is on its way. Another zero. The agency quickly gives him his last task. Thuvu is to go to a pastry shop named Black Sugar. Someone has hidden a secret document inside of a cake. He is to then identify the cake and bring it in one piece to the agency. Thuvu appears to be very confident in his last mission. Well, let's see. After he left, the agency slowly reveals that his last mission is in fact staged. They have no hope in Thuvu and they all think he's a danger to society. The agency calls the pastry shop. 
they inform that Thuvu is on his way and that they have to play their part in order for Thuvu to pass this test. The pastry shop is instructed to put the cake in a very obvious spot. The cake is a chocolate cake and the document is very clearly and very obviously placed on the cake, making it impossible to miss. Thuvu bursts into the scene with a fumigator on his side. He claims that they can inspect anything because they're allowed to with a fumigator. The pastry shop owner then hit the document deeper into the chocolate cake. But little did he know that Thuvu saw this and is now going to eat every single cake in the store till he finds the document. The owner doesn't budge and watches the madness unfold. Now watch very closely and see if you notice something. Thuvu indeed messed up the most obvious task. He hits the people behind him by accident and the husband then smacks him back. The place then erupts into a biblical pie fight. Fast forward and here's the graduation. From now on, Thuvu's title code is 000, the lowest Praktor rank possible. That's it. Greek spy movies are something to be seen. There's a sequel to this movie, and it's equally as amazing as this one is. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a video on the sequel as well. Ooh, Rendezvous στις τρεις το μεσημέρι. Θα σε πλησιάσει άνθρωπός μας και θα σου μιλήσει. Τόπο συναντήσεως στο πατσατζίδικο Κωνσταντινούπολης. Για να σε γνωρίσει θα τρως από δυο πιάτα πατσα, 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 πατσα.